Hey, it's Jay, and today I'm helping my neighbor and friend Michelle replace the screen on one of her sliding doors. Her super cute dog had a field day with it and punched right through it, so we're gonna repair it for her. <laughs> this sliding door in particular was connected to another sliding door, so the whole thing slides as one unit. So I ended up having to remove two bolts just to disconnect the one door from the other. And then you just lift up on the screen and the bottom part comes out of the track and then just lifts right out. Most sliding doors aren't gonna be connected to another door, so all you're gonna have to do is just lift it up and then the bottom part slips out of the track and then you pull the top part out of the track. The tools you need for this project are very simple. A flathead screwdriver, a utility knife with a sharp blade, and something called a spline tool. This black rubber material that you see in the seam here, that holds the screen in, it's called spline. And it actually is one piece that flows all the way around the entire screen. So first we're just gonna remove the spline. This is where the flathead screwdriver comes in handy, because you can just get in there and underneath it, just start to pry it up and out of the groove. Once the spline's removed, you can just pull the old screen right out. It just pulls right out of the groove. Next, you wanna make sure the replacement screen is wide enough for your door. You're gonna roll the new screen out and you're gonna leave at least an inch on every side. Just use a utility knife to cut away the roll from the screen you just laid out. You can use the side of the door as a guide. It's like really like cutting butter. Next we're going to use the spline tool. It has two ends on it. This side has a convex edge and this side has a concave edge, a little bit of a groove and we're gonna use the convex side for the stage and we're gonna push the screen and create a groove. Because it's tough to get the screen completely taut, what I end up doing is I take the concave side of the spline tool and I actually start working the spline in on one side. That'll hold the screen in while you start to get the other sides taut with tension. And now just keep working it around. can't get in here so we're just going to use our flathead screwdriver and just stick the spline down into the groove just kind of work it in and just push it until it falls down into that corner there we go let's do that four times and then this is where the spline seam is so I'm just going to take that corner and just push it in there. Just get it all inside the groove so it doesn't come loose. The final step is so satisfying. This is where you take your utility knife and you just go along the groove and then cut off the excess screen. Once again, make sure your utility knife is sharp so it cuts easily. You're just gonna go right above the uh, spline and use that as your line, your guide to cut all the excess away.
that's it. We'll see you next time. Hey, chance. Yeah. <gasps> You're such a good dog. <laughs>